Wyandotte is a very small city when you think about it. Everyone knows someone who knows someone. With such a tight-knit community, you think it would be an easy task to bring everyone together, especially for an important event. Every year, the Wyandotte Bears hold a charity football game, which takes a lot of people and a lot of work. Hi, my name is Ron Adams. I'm the head football coach here at Wyandotte Roosevelt. Uh, my first year was 2006. Uh, this will be the 14th year that I've been representing Wyandotte High School uh, in this capacity, and uh, I'm very, very proud to be uh, in the role that I have. Well, you know, here's the, here's the thing with the blockout cancer. Jeremy Slavodnik and I, uh, going back, I believe it was in 2009, wanted to do something to give back to the community. And as a result of that, we came up with the Pink Out game, and we were working directly with uh, the Yes Man program at Henry Ford Wyandotte Hospital. Uh, you know, between Jeremy and I, I think we set a good foundation. We were, we were able to raise roughly five to seven thousand dollars each year. When Jeremy made the transition over to Biddle, uh, he was no longer able to continue to help organize and run this. And that's when uh, Ms. Comiskey stepped in along with Wyandotte Deca, and they took something that basically Jeremy and I had started and turned it into this wonderful event that's gone above and beyond any of the expectations that I could ever imagine. Uh, but you know, this is an opportunity for us to give back to the community. Uh, one of the pillars of our, our football program is community service, servant leadership, and uh, I'm really proud of the way our players have responded, uh, not just as athletes, but also as students, as part of being part of the Wyandotte DECA program and organization, and uh, I really think it's, uh, it's something that separates Wyandotte from a lot of other communities. For the last two years, Wyandotte has partnered with C.S. Mott Children's Hospital, one of the most top-ranked pediatric cancer hospitals in America. Planning and raising money for such a big event can be troublesome. There are many electives to choose from at Theodore Roosevelt High School, such as auto shop, machines, art, and many others. The one that does not go unnoticed is marketing, and specifically Wyandotte Deca. Welcome to room number A112, where all the planning and preparation occurs for the Blockout Cancer Charity Football Game. Hi. My name is Alyssa Comiskey and I am the marketing teacher here at Wyandotte Roosevelt High School and I've been here for 15 years. I'm also the DECA advisor. All right, now let's just take one minute here. So you've heard the word a lot. DECA. What does it mean? What does it stand for? Well, DECA stands for Distributive Education Clubs of America. It was established in 1942, but since then the acronym has been dropped. But what is DECA? Well, a quick Google search will show you that DECA prepares emerging leaders and entrepreneurs in marketing, finance, hospitality, and management in high schools and colleges around the globe. I don't think that describes what DECA is. Because you can't describe what DECA is. At least the Wyandotte chapter. So let me show you a few photos. Get the gist of it? Okay, cool. Now let's try this again. How have you been preparing for this upcoming game? It's a lot of work in the summer um, as far as getting all of the sponsorships taken care of. And I love doing it, but it does keep me busy in the summer trying to, to get the word out there. Uh, we also painted some palettes over the summer so that we can have some visual representation at the game. Very colorful, we're really trying to have a colorful theme this year. And we also have been selling apparel since the street fair. We're now at over a thousand t-shirts sold. And that's really exciting for us and other things we've been doing are promoting the Miracle Minutes. We've got colorful ribbons going out. Uh, there's just a wide variety of things that we're trying to reach out to do. We have a, a texting campaign now too, where you can text to donate. So that's something new for us this year. And um, also another new piece is getting the marching band sponsored. So we have all 138 members that will be wearing shirts as well. Our goal is $25,000. Uh, we also learned this year that Delta Airlines, because they are a partner with CS Mott, they will match um, up to $10,000. So if we raise 10 grand, which I know we already probably have at this point, then they're gonna match us. So that will be helpful. Yesterday on one of the boards outside, I saw uh, volleyball blocks out cancer. So is this just gone beyond football and everything? Um, interesting that you asked that. Yesterday or Saturday, the volleyball team had a tournament here and they sold bracelets. And it's something that we don't want it to just gear around the football program, but that's really what has the largest crowd. So that's helpful to make that our main event. Uh, we are looking at doing a blockout cancer volleyball game also at the end of the month that we're still in the works with. Uh, but yes, we want other teams and other schools to, to do something 
not just make it about the football program because it's really not it's the whole month of September this is just our our main event um, that we have the sponsorship and all that so this year we are having Miracle Mondays and four restaurants in downtown Wyandotte have volunteered starting tonight to um, open their doors and give us a percentage of the the proceeds every Monday for the month of September so tonight is Joe's hamburgers the 16th is Bobcat Bonnie's, the 23rd is Whiskey's on the Water, and the 24th, not the 24th, the 30th would be Firehouse Pub. It's ribbon hanging time. All right, ready? Let's do it. <laughs> right now we're hanging out the different ribbon that represent different camp fairs all along our field for the Friday night big game. It looks like you're supposed to like... All the footage you are about to see was shot in one school day in just a couple of periods. The students along with Mrs. Comiskey work very hard around the clock to make sure that everything goes perfect and the game is all set up for Friday. You'll also notice varsity team captains Nico Fernandez and Hayden Loya helping out as well since they are both DECA members along with many other football players. Okay, so back here I'm working on our band sponsorships for our band's t-shirts for a Blackout Cancer game. So basically this is our list of all of our band sponsorships. We have 134 of them. Um, I have to go through and individually type out and cut out everything and basically hot press them onto all the band's shirts. Hi, I'm Cindy Tarnowski, the DECA president. Right now, this week, we're working on hanging these up around the school. Students from our Marketing 2 class have made these, and right now, I'm working on cutting them out and picking the best ones to hang up on the football field for the game. Over here, we have a lot of money. Many people are checking over it, making sure that we have the right amount, giving it to the right places that are sponsoring us and stuff like that. Why Not Decca has and still is working incredibly hard to reach their goal of $25,000. All proceeds go directly to CS Mott Children's Hospital to treat pediatric cancer. So this is the part where I ask you to donate to the Blackout Cancer Campaign. Any donation, no matter how small, makes a difference. You can make a difference. <laughs> 